Welcome to the Statistic in ED YouTube channel. Today I want to show you how to create an R package. In the previous video I talked about the motivation, when and why to create an R package and today we want to get practical. And the good news is it's very easy. We can create a working version of a package in two minutes. The video will be a bit longer because I'll talk about what we see and what is happening, but the actual steps we have to carry out to get a working example of an R package take no more than two minutes. An R package in R Studio is an R Studio project. If you don't work with projects yet, I highly recommend doing that. Projects are very powerful. They allow you to work with relative file paths, no need to specify a working directory and absolute file paths to your files, to your data and so on. And that means that you can copy a project to another location, to a different machine it will, and it will work straight away. So an R package is also a project. So we have this project menu right below the X to close down R Studio. We have this downward arrow <coughs> and this menu opens and we can just click on the first entry new project. And then R Studio shows us this new project wizard and it makes sense to create the R package in a new directory. The recommendation is not to create projects inside other projects. So make sure you go to the top level next to other projects maybe, or to a different location, but not inside an existing project. So new directory, and then we choose R package, the first entry. Later on, when you create your own R packages, I recommend using DevTools, R package using DevTools, but for now to keep it simple, we'll just click on R package. And then we need to specify a folder, create project as a subdirectory of. So if you're not happy with what you see there, you can click on Browse to change that. And now we need to come up with a package name. I'll call it My Awesome Package. You can, of course, come up with a better name. Um, we could use version control. That is recommended, of course. But um, for now, to keep it simple, we won't use version control. Create a Git repository. And we could use rnv. That means we get a project-specific package library. So we can use um, package versions and manage package versions independently of our main R installation. That's also a powerful tool, but to keep it simple, we are not going to do that now. So I just specified a package name. Make sure to have um, a, um, a file folder that makes sense here. And then we can just click on Create Project. Then it takes a couple of seconds. You see that a new session is started. And now we have um, an R script on the top left, and it's got this powerful and very useful function, something similar you have probably seen already when you learned new things somewhere else, um, the famous hello world example. So we have a very simple function that just prints hello world. Um, so the nice thing here is that R Studio really helps us and provides um, a basic infrastructure so we don't have to build the infrastructure ourselves from scratch. So we have, we have a script that prints hello world, um, in the files pane in the bottom right, you see we have a couple of files. And what's also new is in the top right, next to environment, history, and connections, we have a new build tab. And we'll look into these things in a moment. So first about the basic file structure that an R package requires. Of course, as you get more sophisticated and create better packages, you can have more files and more folders in here. But this is the minimum that we need. So there are two folders. The R folder, I think, is pretty obvious. It contains a script with our function hello.r and we also have a man folder it's not a statement against feminism <laughs> but man stands for manual so the documentation is there we have an hello.rd file that contains the documentation the help file um, for our function here and we can click on that and you see it's got this latex style code um, again the good news is we don't have to write code like this from scratch but in a later video, I'll show you how to create documentation for our functions, and it's easier than writing this type of code. And then there are a couple of other files in the top level of our package. So let's quickly look at what they are. There's this .rproj file, my awesome package .rproj. That's an RStudio meta file that manages this project, this package project. So we don't need to touch that. We can leave it as is. It's automatically created and managed by RStudio. And then from top to bottom, there's a .rbuildignore file. So we can 
um, mention all files that are inside our file structure but that we do not want to be part of the bundle package when we build the package. So for example you could have a PDF documentation that you need to consult frequently as you build your package but you don't want this PDF to be part of your final package. You can specify it here and we can do that later on. We'll see there are helper functions so we don't have to edit this file by hand. That's the great uh, use this package that can do that for us. Then there's the description. It's a meta file that contains some um, meta information about our package, like the package author, package version, um, maintainer, and a short description and so on. And it can get more entries later on, for example, co-authors or packages that you rely on that your package needs to work. This is a pure text file. We could edit that by hand, but there are also helper functions in the use this package to manage this file. The description. And the last file that we haven't talked about is the namespace. This manages how our package plays together with other packages. For example, if we want to make our functions available to outside users, we need to export the functions and this is done in the namespace. But here in this example package, it's already done. Um, the good news again is that we don't have to write this code by hand. There are helper functions again. We'll see that in a later video. So it's a regular expression here and it says that our hello world function gets exported to outside users. So this is our minimum example of the basic file structure that we need for a package. And now we can just go to the build tab that is new and specific to our packages. And we can just click on install and restart to actually install our package. You see that some text runs through in the build pane. Um, it, it's very quick. The package gets installed. And then you see in the bottom left in the console that our studio starts a new R session and automatically our package gets loaded. So um, our package should be there and move to the package packages tab next to files and plots and we can check my awesome package is there so it got installed and it's visible just like other packages that we know as users that we haven't written ourselves. So it is installed and usable. Um, it's also loaded. Our studio does that automatically. We'll check the environment. The environment is empty. And now this is really a key point when you work on packages. You don't want your functions to be defined in the global environment, but the functions live in the package. So now we can test if this hello function works. I type hello in the console and you see it prints hello world. So the function is available, it works, and it is not visible in the environment. And this is what we want as we develop packages. So this was a very quick jump. You see that RStudio made it very easy for us by providing this basic infrastructure. We didn't have to start from scratch. You saw we have this new build tab and we could easily install this package. Uh, we can also check if the documentation is there. We saw this RD file and we can check question mark hello and it gives us a basic help file. In the next video, I'll show you how to create these help files. We don't write these RD files by hand. Um, but there are helper functions and we'll do the documentation right um, next to the function in the same file so that it's all kept in one place. Well, that was it for today. I hope this is an encouragement for you to see that creating an R package is not rocket science. Of course, you can go into more details and make your package more sophisticated, but it's very easy to get started. Um, all the best for your own projects and stay tuned. I'll add more videos um, how to build documentation and how to, to build better packages. So stay tuned. All the best for your work with R. See you next time. Ciao.